Welcome to Gen Con 2022. This is Shiro's Shopping Spree, where I am walking through the halls, finding various knickknacks and doodads, and just having a grand old time spending all our money. Gemstones! They're so pretty. Look at them. I might have to grab those. Is this the beginning of it? Yeah, here it is. Geeky Endeavors. Hello! Hi. I'm picking up the ears. So I got these ears at Origins and I had them custom make me another set of ears that have leather and little spiky doodads and I'm really excited to pick them up. Yeah, yeah. So these were the ones that we talked about, but if you want to go through any and dig, we put out a ton of these. No, these are perfect. Are we vlogging right we now? We are vlogging. Nah. I, have a sh I have to do a shopping vlog, so yeah. that's my awesome. journey right now. Twenty-seven eighty-two. You are good. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I really you appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> I have these guys on now, and I'll probably switch to these. Would actually match my shirt, so I'll probably switch to them tonight. So awesome. I'm really excited. Thank you. Thank you. I got my cat ears. These are Geeky Endeavor ears. They're at booth 105. You should check them out. They make the best ears in town. You can get them customized with piercings and spikes, and they're awesome. All right, we are headed to pick up the Sagrada expansion at Floodgate Games. Where are you lost? I think I'm lost. I think Jesse got the booth number wrong. I, it's supposed to be 151. Where are they? I see the sign. It's up there, Sagrada. I know where to go now. Do they sell out already? What? Okay. There it is. So this is the new expansion for Sagrada. Sagrada is a game where you're going to be placing dice and creating this like stained glass window picture, meeting certain requirements and scoring conditions. And this is the new expansion, Glory, which I'm super excited to see how it integrates into the base game, which we own all of already. Hi. Hi. Are you selling these? Uh, the pieces of paper or the games they represent? The games they represent. Oh. Uh, we, we're doing pre-orders for them. Okay. Uh, they were supposed to be here, but they're stuck on the boat. Okay. Uh, so what we're doing is, if you want to pick it up, if you order the show, we will send it out, to, we'll ship it out to you okay, uh, late right September is what we're looking like right okay. now. Okay, yeah. Is this this year's pen? That is this year's pen. Grabbing it up. Are all the window clings the same? Yes. Okay. I think they're very pretty. The original one? Yeah. Last year's pen, this year's pen. Yep, I have these two already. And are there any con promos for Sagrada? Uh, the closest we have is we've got our crossover event, which is the Sagrada and Fog of Love. Interesting. So, so it's a window and a card for Fog of Love. Cool. All right, so besides for pre-ordering the Sagrada, the new Glory expansion, because it's stuck on boats and not here at the con yet, I also got a Sagrada window clean because it's just so freaking pretty. And then I got the Sagrada slash Fog of Love promo that they're having at the con. And of course, I had to get the new Sagrada pin. I have both the prior cons, previous pins. And so you have to have a complete collection, of course. And then Jesse doesn't know this, but so far I have five tickets to collect a really cool, rare and valuable pin. And if I get two more, then I can go get and trade. And so this is a new experience for me. They're there, Arcane Wonders. So I am looking at this con for a variety of things. Any cool geeky things that stand out to me, and then some expansions for games that I have in our permanent collection that I know I love. It makes it really hard to focus on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kind of I'm on the hunt for. If there's any new cool games, I might pick them up. I've heard a lot about Red Cathedral from Devere Games, and so that's one of the ones I want to kind of give it a shot. Such a good game. I just saw this one. It's an abstract that's been on my list to get for a while. I don't think we own it, but if we do, you can't have... It doesn't matter if you have two copies. It's a great game. Yes, hi. Hi. Can I grab that, please? Yes, of course. 35, please. Isn't Thank, you. So cute. Thank you so much. Shobu is a really cool abstract where you move a piece and it moves the same way on a mirror board. And as you all know, Jesse sucks at abstract games. So it's one that I can win. So we made a pit stop to pick up Shobu from Spark and Dagger. And now I'm on my way to find a Lego name tag that I saw yesterday that I have to have. All right, found the board. Hi, can I do the... The Lego name? Sure. Uh, so the first step is to pick out a character or two that you want on there. I need you to pick at least one, but I'll put as many on there as you like. Perfect. So Thank go you. ahead and figure out which figure might appeal to you. I think I have to put a minion, which just caught my eye. I don't know which minion, though. 
I kind of like this guy. Uh, oh, they have Harry Potter. Where's the Harry Potter ones? I'm trying to figure out who this one is. Otherwise, I can just give uh, you. She is a version of Black Widow. That's what I thought. Black Widow, Minion. If we can find Harry Potter, that would be wonderful. Oh, they have ones. Do you have Hermione? I do. Um, she is right here. Thank you. And then behind there, this one's the one from her Yule Ball outfit. Oh. And then I have this one too, which is like her like kind of civvies, her muggle clothes. They have angry birds. <laughs> You're knocking them over. They're going to get very, very angry. Oh, Harley Quinn. Oh my God. Harley Quinn, Black Widow. Do you have the Scarlet Witch? Now she is in her like original Avengers outfit because they didn't make the new one yet. Okay. I'm probably going to try to do a custom one of it. Is that Groot? It is. And everyone's going on the name, right? Yes, please. So meet me at the end and we'll get the okay. selection done. And then what's the name? S-H-I-R-A. Go ahead and pick which one you like there. Are there any other colors? Uh, possibly. I've got... If you had a blue, that's what I'd be looking for. Yeah. Okay. Grabbing these. This one will allow me to that attach like a, a whole body to it and yeah, wear like a body. A We'll see. And, and this is just uh, yeah, blue. Just oh, this cool. weekend. I all right, so Groot's got his plants. Hermione's obviously trying to solve what all this craziness is going on with her book. Uh, a little syringe for Harley. I'm sure it's full of nothing good for anyone. And then <laughs> she's crouching as low as she can with her, her gun there. And then, of course, we had to give him a little umbrella so he doesn't get past the shade. Thank you. Have a great rest of your show, guys. You too. Okay? All right. Next up, and probably the last up, maybe not, because I'll probably see something on the way, is going to be to Vera Games to get Red Cathedral and the new expansion. Oh, uh, now to find them. I actually don't know where they are. So this con has been a totally new experience for me. The first Gen Con was my first con ever, and I was thrown into a hustle and bustle, chaotic experience, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was overwhelmed, I actually started to cry, and then slowly I've been to, I think, three more cons, two different origins and one PAX U, and then Comic Con, four cons. And I've kind of got my con feet legs under me, and I know what I'm doing. I know I have to leave Jesse alone for the whole con so he can do business, and I know I have to go find cool knickknacks and things that I can't find anywhere else geek related. And that's how I have the best time of my life. Knickknacks. So Jesse's not gonna let me buy anything here because I already bought stuff and I haven't built it yet but they're so cool. I'm in the middle of building this one and I want to build some more and I'm not allowed. So far I've got the beak attached. <laughs> Look at this. You just fold it in unimaginable ways and it's so satisfying. What's that? I have no clue. A little fidget toy? Yeah. No, it's gross. Oh, you, you shift them around like that. Oh, you can solve it. You can get them all oh. And then, oh, these are all just fidgets. All right, let's go find Devere. possible to buy Red Cathedral and the expansion? Yes, absolutely. That is a possibility. And we will happily take your money. Would you like a bag? Uh, your stash is getting too big. It is. Yeah, let me do a bag. It's going to be $65. Perfect. Success. All right, so one last stop. I know Leader Games is putting out an RPG. I think it's Leader Games. I'm going to go head that way and try and find it because I want to buy it for Jesse. Show him I'm invested in this RPG business. I don't see them. 15 minutes. I know that's not there. I know okay. that there's like a bowl that has the, the root character. It's over from Magpie Games right in the center. Thank you so much. I'm going to head that way. I want to get it as a surprise for Jesse. All right, we just ran into a fan who told me that Leader Games is actually not putting out the RPG. They licensed it from them, but I have to go to a different booth to pick up the RPG. So I'm going to head there. At least I didn't walk to the other side of the hall before realizing I was going to the wrong place. Hello. Hi. Can I get everything? A briefing? Yes. Yes. I already played a whole bunch and my boyfriend loves RPGs and so it's a gift for him. Awesome. So I just cool. want one of everything. Okay. We'll do this and then the fraction, dice set, map. the map. Does this come with... Is yeah. This? Yeah. We'll do this one and then I need to get two of the dice from over there. Okay. Here's the thing. I hope he hasn't bought it yet, because knowing him, he's already bought it, and he's going to ruin the surprise. He's the worst person to buy gifts for. I tried all the time, and he doesn't let me. I love your ears. Thank you. <laughs> They're actually over there in the corner. I like that you touched your human ears first. <laughs> I forget I'm wearing them. Uh, you too. You have notes already. Please wrap up your transactions.
fight the way out of it's a fall. Don't worry, we will be open tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I think that is a successful stash. What do you think, Evan? Just in time. All right, so that's a wrap up on this Gen Con 2022 stash thingamabob. Uh, if you like what we're doing, give us a subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to be doing more videos every single day of Gen Con and it's a party over here. Or come say hi in person. We'd love that.